The officials have been appointed by the Central Area Council of the British Police and Border Patrol. Our area representative still is the Prime Minister Suzanne Potts. And so, ladies and gentlemen, from Blackpool, this is your big fight line! Six regular rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. Introducing to Thursday, boxing out of the blue corner wearing the white colour shorts, trimming flowers and green. At the weight heat scale, 10 stone, 2 pounds, 12 ounces. Tonight is his 17th professional appearance, presented from his nation's capital, Sofia Bongelio Giorgi, Baby Face Malichko. And the opposing in boxing out of the green red corner, one the black eye and tangerine colour shorts. At the weight heat scale, 10 stone, 2 pounds, 14 ounces. He comes to the room this evening with a perfect blemish record, six bronzes, six wins. Three of those are in the final round. Schedule six threes uh, in the welterweight division. Blackpool's own Jake Abril coming out the red corner, and Bulgaria's Georgie Velishkov coming out to the blue corner. The southpaw referee Jimmy Kirkpatrick comes to the team tonight. Lead top of white the Mike catch from Gormley. They have Blackpool's Winter Gardens. Hello. Yeah, look at the two fighters, Jay, Jay looks the bigger fighter, obviously similar weights, but Jay carries the height and reach advantage there. Nice start by Jay, he's one of the prospects, uh, uh, myself, I think he's going to do something in the world of boxing. Seven professional outlets tonight. He's had three stoppages. Georgie Babyface is his um, 17th competition tonight. Won three the three stoppages. Lost 13. He's been stopped once. 22 year old. Babyface, he certainly does look young, doesn't he? He doesn't look his age. He did come here in a pram though before I saw him getting out of it. Nice body shots there by Jake. Referee warning the Bulgarian for the use of his head. Nice to walk to the body there by Jake Capel. Shots there by um, Velikov. Referee warning for his head. Nice backhand down the middle there by Abril. Head again. Referee warning him. I think, I think it's just a static style, that really. I mean, Jake, Jake's not complaining about it, he's not doing any damage. It is a little bit low, but I don't think it's intentional. Don't forget it's the South Pole against the Orthodox. Just a, just a clash of styles. <laughs> Abra's still only 20, 20 years of age. Got a lot to offer, I think. Game coming up. <laughs> Saying that, the, the Bulgarian is only 22 years of age, both very relatively uh, young men. First round there to Abro.
Round two. We have. Boom, boom. Shit, the room. Round two, six threes. Final bout of the evening. It's the main bout of the evening between Jake Abril, Black Pearl, and Georgie Velasco. Sofia, Bulgaria. He's, he's dad and the abro. Nice work there by Abro. Paul Gary made his debut in March 21. First two, lost his next three in the last one. Came to England in the seven fights. I think he's uh, working on the journeyman circuit now. I say he had three stoppage wins in Bulgaria. He's not done one left on the road. Yeah, I think the Lex Cobb just got one there. He had one more time to take a point off. Again, Jay not complaining. Doing too much damage. I think Jake, Jake obviously understands the class of styles, but it, it could be dangerous, so he just needs to be warned about that. Last thing Jake wants is a cut. Now, so he's throwing these punches with a little bit more spike, trying to get him out of there. Yeah, I think the, I think the last thing Jake would want is the, for the Lechkov to be disqualified. Jake uh, Abro livens up a little bit here, and, uh, like he has done starting this round, because I think he can take the uh, Ukraine out of there. So he can take Georgie Veliskov. Yeah, I think Veliskov's covering up, well, covering up quite well, though. Um, Jake's throwing the correct shots. Veliskov taking a lot on the gloves, elbows. I think Jake just kind of needs to keep doing what he's doing. But like they say, though, probably just stepping up slightly. Not standing front too much, just make yourself a few angles, you know, step around the side a little bit, try and change things a little bit. Just throwing that straight back hand and the left hook over the Legkov's lead hand. Correct thing to do. Nice out there as well. Legkov on a little counter on the body there. The 
it's funny when you're in there, Mike, and you're concentrating, you know, like a million other things going on, but the, the two guys are in deep concentration there. Yeah, 100%. It's, you know, it's easy for everybody to say, do this, do that. It's not that easy when, you know, you've got a point in front of you. Trying to, trying to spoil your game plan. And as I said previously, Jake's doing everything he needs to do. He's not quite getting through cleanly enough. But that's all credit to... Uh, Lejkov, his guard, he is a bit messy at times with his head, but again, just a clash of styles. Yeah, totally agree. So, concluding about the evening here on the Steve Wood show, the winning guard is in Blackpool. So, Blackpool's finest talent. And here's one of them, Jake Gabriel, guy to watch for the future. Yeah, you know, it's another learning fight for Jake. He's not going to kind of roll over everybody who's put in front of him. And this is, you know, this is just another challenge. Nice shot there up through the middle. Got him as well um, for this cop's going to be stopped once. It's 13 defeats. You know, he's, a, he's probably a lot better than his record suggests. Can we give Jake a, a fight? Has done. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's, he's had three wins and he's stopped three opponents, so. Yeah. Thank you. Way through 66%. It's the well away clash, Jay Cabral against Georgie Velishkov. A learning fight for Jake. As I said before, he's 20 years of age and he's seven professional outing. Referee Jimmy Kirkpatrick pressing the splits him. Staying off him is going to take, uh, giving Jake a chance to show his skills, and he is doing. Yeah, he's not getting frustrated, Jake. You know, he's just he's just sticking he's sticking to what he does best. He's not rushing in, he's not making things messy. Tired, but he's not quite doing as much this round. I 
really would like to see Jake just you know, work a few shots there. And just step off to the left, step on the outside of the ledge cough. And maybe throw a body shot underneath, a little hook underneath. Just try and change it a little bit. Just seem to be in front of him all the time. Trying to work him out. Thank you. So far, we move into round five. Schedule six. I actually thought before the fight started, we might, might see a stoppage here by Apple. It's not quite gone according to how I thought it'd go. No, me, me too. Obviously, on, on Jake's form, you know the way the way he boxes, his style, everything else. He, he, you know, he's a very aggressive fighter. He's a, he's a very stylish fighter, but he's also aggressive, he, he hits hard. You know, he's improving all the time. And you think, you know, what, while he's on his way up, he'll, he'll probably get more stoppages, but I think, yeah, just a tough customer he's come across tonight, a tough, awkward customer. But again, the, you know, these are the fights he needs. He's got to work these guys out. Lezkov not offering much, but you know he's, he, he's not dangerous. He's not a threat. He's just awkward to get to. Yeah, agreed. And hopefully, you know, hopefully Jake, Jake will stick to this this plan or the plan. Andy Abrol in his corner, his dad. You know, they've got a plan, obviously. As long as he stick to it, the, the outcome at the end of the day is a win, and that, that's what we're looking for. Off. It's hard to do though when you, when you find the south ball, sometimes you stand on the toe, some people do go on purpose. A little, little bit of a quiet round this fifth round. Again, it's been very controlled by Jake. And he's quite, quite impressed with that. You know, he's not, he's not lost the plot. He's not, he's not deterred from what he needs to be doing. Jake's getting a little bit frustrated there.
of a spoiler really, the, uh, the guy from Sofia. He's uh, he spoiled Jake's work tonight, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, again, some of these guys, you know, he's looked after himself. He's not he's not really been in any trouble for Legkov, but he's not he's not really he's not opened up a bit enough for Jake to kind of do do his stuff, you know. But I suppose that's all credit to Legkov, really. He's, he's come out to do a job. Jake, Jake's, it's up to Jake really to break him down, open him up, expose him. He's not been able to do that tonight, but it's still a good performance by Jake. I'm impressed. He's, you know, he's took his time. He's not. He's not got flustered. Nothing's been messy. He's just been not, not been able to get through as he would have liked to. He's kept it professional. Uh, again. He's kept it professional as he can do. He's stood to probably stood to the, the, the uh, command of his father and uh, the team, Fabro. Undoubtedly, it's going to be 16-54 this fight. Um, Jamie Kirkpatrick scoring. Going to be the shots. Not long to go now. Jake's just going to, you know, cruise. It's going to be a point victory. Like I said at the beginning, I expected, well, I thought he'd, you know, I expected, I thought he'd probably stopped. Um, this cop was not really engaged. He's kept it nice and tight, hasn't he? Well, this cop, he's, you know, he doesn't want to get hurt. Knows his way around the ring. All in all, it's a learning curve there for Jake Abrol. Yeah, I think like, Jake will be glad to see the final bell as well. Maybe go and have a look at this and move on to the next one. Put this one to bed. For all boxing. Info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.